in this video we are going to be looking at today's and tomorrow's severe risks which does have a tornado risk we're also going to be discussing this upcoming very active pattern for severe weather now before we could get into the video be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel right now we're looking at the storm prediction center outlook for today for today and as you can see we have a slight risk issued for portions of kansas missouri and nebraska we also do have a marginal risk for severe weather across oklahoma arkansas missouri kansas nebraska iowa south dakota minnesota and wisconsin now this does in fact have a tornado risk with it as you can see we have a two percent risk for tornadoes in portions of kansas and nebraska for the wind risk we have a 15 percent chance for 60 mile per hour wind gusts and up and for hail we also do have a 15 percent chance for one inch size hail and up here's tomorrow's outlook and we do have a slight risk for severe weather tomorrow on wednesday for portions of the deep south and even a marginal risk reaching up into iowa we do also have a tornado risk with this a five percent risk for tornadoes across portions of texas louisiana mississippi tennessee arkansas and oklahoma we also do have a two percent risk around that even reaching into iowa as well now the wind risk with this is a 15 percent chance for 60 mile per hour wind gusts and up and for hail we have a 15 percent chance for one inch diameter size hail and up now we're going to be looking at this current system that's going on right now in portions of the central u.s as you can see we have a lot of snow going on right now in portions of the northwestern u.s around uh, wyoming montana idaho even utah and colorado could see some snow we're also seeing some rain showers across the more midwestern u.s right now more than northern portions of the midwestern united states you are seeing some rain showers around the region from some leftover storms from last night as we move forward the slow pressure moves a little south and then uh, keeps moving eastward very fairly slowly and you are going to see some severe storms throughout today in more of the central u.s even reaching up to into minnesota and wisconsin you could see some stronger storms as well and as you move forward here, and this is going to be around Wednesday, so Wednesday at 6 a.m., you're starting to see a very big line of rain showers and thunderstorms across portions of the Midwestern and Deep South United States. And now we're moving into portion. Now we're moving into uh, around the 9 a.m. hours. So as you can see, we're seeing even some stronger storms developing uh, around the Oklahoma and Arkansas border. This is going to be moving eastward as you get into 12 p.m. You're seeing these thunderstorms really starting to move eastward into now Missouri and Arkansas. And even some more stronger storms which could produce tornadoes down there in Arkansas and Louisiana. That's going to be soon moving into uh, Mississippi, Tennessee, and Kentucky. As you can see, we're seeing quite the Boeing segment. And this is what's going to produce some very strong winds. I wouldn't be surprised if they do issue a 30% chance for some winds. Because this is definitely going to be a pretty damaging wind event. Nonetheless, if there's any tornadoes. That enters Tennessee, Mississippi, and then soon Alabama throughout the overnight hours. Those line of storms should weaken by the time it gets to around 12 a.m but still some stronger cells in there in mississippi and alabama that whole line kind of dissipates once you get into the morning hours of thursday and the low pressure system stalls out really in the more northern portion of the midwest and that's really going to bring rounds of rain showers across the midwest region for uh this whole week here so you definitely could see some possible flooding in some localized spots now as we move into the weekend um we are seeing another system forming in the deep south region and this is not what we're talking about in today's video but just to keep an eye on this you're seeing another system forming in the south here and you're seeing some very strong thunderstorms across the south uh, especially for the overnight hours of saturday into sunday for friday into saturday here so as you can see we're seeing even some stronger storms by the time you get to 6 a.m of saturday over in the deep south here and still those storms are still lingering however 
over here in Florida, um, even up here in portions of the Ohio Valley, you're seeing some rain showers and even some thunderstorms possible for Saturday. And still that low pressure, another low pressure forms there up in Wisconsin. You're seeing a line of rain showers and thunderstorms now reaching into portions of the Mid-Atlantic and Michigan. You're seeing some of those rain showers there. And now moves off to the northeast, as you can see, or to the east, pretty much. Another low pressure forms. Now, this is going to be a much weaker low pressure, but it may even bring a little bit of snow for portions of Minnesota there. That will quickly move out to the southeast. And we're also going to see some more systems form once you get into the once you get into late next week that we will be discussing soon now let's look at the severe weather ingredients throughout today and as you can see we're already seeing some cape values upwards of 700 joules per kilogram this morning as you move throughout forward throughout the day you're seeing upwards of a uh, now 1500 joules per kilogram so you're seeing a bunch of energy are uh, really being pulled up from the gulf this is 3 p.m and you're already seeing 1500 joules per, per kilogram even uh portions of uh, 1800 so definitely you're seeing a lot of energy energy uh for throughout the day that's going to really trigger some strong storms even upwards of 2000 joules per kilogram so you're seeing a bunch of energy a bunch of fuel these storms are really going to take in and that'll really produce a lot of lightning uh throughout the today into the overnight hours now as you move throughout uh now wednesday so this will be on 12 a.m wednesday you're still seeing some k values that don't really um linger those storms through overnight uh but now as you move uh forward throughout wednesday here you're seeing enough energy to really fire some storms across the deep south even into the midwest you're seeing enough energy for some storms across over there that cape really starts to uh, weaken by the time you get to the overnight hour. So by 9 p.m., you're seeing pretty much no energy at all, but still some energy down here to really uh, keep those storms fueled and maybe even produce some tornadoes into the uh, overnight hours for portions of eastern Arkansas to Mississippi and Tennessee. Here's a surface based lifted index, and this is um, kind of the rotation within the atmosphere, and this is what. Uh, really trigger storms what triggers cumulus clouds to turn into cumulonimbus clouds so it really allows for those uh, thunderstorms to really lift up really high up into the atmosphere and even possibly some hailers that uh, could be possible uh, within some of these regions especially up to negative um, 8 celsius you could definitely could see uh, some hailers up in there if those storms really fire in that type of region now if these storms are down here in oklahoma uh, we could definitely see a pretty decent tornado event however these storms are going to be much more northward and we are seeing a bunch of cap over here so it's not going to allow storms to develop in the oklahoma area however if we did see a storms developing in the oklahoma region we definitely could see a pretty big risk for tornadoes but these storms are going to be uh, firing way north of there you are seeing a bunch of lift, especially negative 5 to negative 7. So you're seeing some very nice lift. And this is going to allow for a 2% risk for tornadoes across this region. If we even take a sounding here, you're seeing a pretty decent sounding. You're seeing a lot of cap here. But it really depends on um, mainly isolated tornadoes. It's not going to be anything widespread because there is a bit of cap around the region. And that may not allow for that many uh, tornadoes today now here's a significant tornado parameter and this is pretty much putting all of the tornado ingredient models all together and it's really giving that overall look at the risk for tornadoes today as you can see we are seeing some in these spots right here uh, you are seeing upwards of one so you're seeing a pretty um you're seeing a chance for tornadoes but a very low chance um now like i said if we took a sounding right here in portions of nebraska and kansas right in this type of region right there and that's where the cap is so uh, we may not see that many storms as expected throughout the day but definitely expect some storms across portions of uh, nebraska uh even oklahoma could see some isolated showers and isolated thunderstorms but nothing really anything too serious here you could see some stronger wind gusts in those storms and maybe even a possible spin up tornado over over in here over in nebraska now if you did enjoy the forecast be sure to subscribe 
to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel and very special thanks to our members of the channel especially our tier 3 members aka our EF3 members, which are Illinois SoundOp and Carson Huber. Also, our Tier 1 members, which are Jack's Railfan Network 2020, Billman, Miss Gary 1958, and our newest member, Ramon Romero. Thank you for becoming a member. It's very much appreciated for the channel. If you would like to become a member today, all you have to do is click the join button down below. Just for a dollar a month, you can get a couple of perks or if you even go up on the tiers you can get even more perks on the channel but anyways stay safe